Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I got some more Chicago Bulls news. You know, also check out all my past videos. I've been posting every day to try and keep you guys updated with all the Bulls news and rumors going around. You know, the first thing I want to talk about in today's video is it looks like the Bulls first round pick and our second or I guess undrafted round pick. You know, they are both in Chicago and this is a first look at both them in a Chicago Bulls jersey. You know, I have this cool video of Patrick and Devin Dotson, you know, talking to you guys, you know, checking in. And I also have this quick little video of Patrick Williams, Duncan, and him pretty much just a first look and him in a Chicago Bulls jersey. And I also saw the other day he chose to wear number nine, so that's pretty cool. You know, I'm gonna throw up all those videos right now, introducing the players and such. What's up, Bulls Nation? Patrick Williams here, I'm in the gym, uh, ready to get to work. I'm excited about the season. Um, appreciate the love I've got so far, but ready to get to work, ready to start the season. What's up, Bulls Nation? Uh, it's Devon here. Uh, excited about the opportunity and ready to work. Uh, it's gonna be a fun year this year, and I can't wait to step out on that court and uh, put on for the city of Chicago. Yes, sir. You know, before I keep going with more news, definitely check out my past videos. You know, Patrick Williams was had like a bunch of highlights and he was just running 5v5s against other NBA players. And he was dominating. You know, I saw some people saying it was just scrimmage or whatever. You know, we need to wait till the NBA. I agree without a doubt. But still, just watching those highlights, the kid looks like he's been in the gym working out this offseason or quarantine or whatever you want to call it. You know, he has a lot of skill and potential, and I'm falling, I'm literally falling in love with the draft pick the more I, you know, do research and watch highlights and hear former, like, his teammates and former coaches talk about him and rave about him. You know, he's one of the hardest workers on that team. I'm really excited for his future, and I truly believe the Bulls got a steal with their undrafted rookie. You know, the Chicago Bulls signed Chicago's own Devin Dotson the other day. I'm surprised he went undrafted in the 2020 NBA draft. You know, most scouts said that's like a steal of the draft. You know, he, a lot of scouts said he shouldn't have went undrafted and the Bulls got a steal. You know, most scouts did say the only reason why he got undrafted was because of his height. I mean, he is like a 6'2 point guard, which, I mean, that is a little shorter than usual in the NBA, but I don't see that as a problem, honestly. You know, he's super quick. That can make up for his speed. And for, like, his height, he's a very good defender. I'm very high on that pick. You know, I expect him to get some playing time in the Bulls preseason games. You know, I'm, sure we're, I'm pretty sure we're, like, supposed to have three or four preseason games. I'm pretty sure the Bulls get the pick if they want three or four, so that'll be interesting to see how many we pick. And without a doubt this season, I'm going to try and watch some Windy City Bulls games because he's definitely going to be playing for the Bulls G League team, you know, unless if some injuries happen or unless if he's just that big of a standout, you know, he could make the Bulls official roster. And some big news, the Chicago Bulls have re-signed guard Adam Akoka to a two-way contract per NBA. You know, Daniel Greenberg reported on this on Twitter. Definitely go check him out and give him a follow over there. He's pretty reliable on a lot of Bulls news and sources. And either way, you know, this isn't a big deal or nothing. Like, it's no crazy signing, but I'd say it's a good signing. You know, I like him. The two-way contract like situation this year is a lot more interesting. I know last year like the two-way contract like only had like two-way players only like have like 45 days, yeah, 45 days to be with the team. But this season because of everything going around, they have like 50 games they they can play in and then if so like say they play 50, the Bulls have to like sign him to a contract or he's like or another team can sign him. So that's definitely very interesting. That's good that the NBA did that. I expect a lot more like two-way contracts to be playing this season and like G League players in the NBA, especially if any players catch it and get sick and such. You know, I, lot of, I know a lot of Bulls fans and such really like this signing and they have a lot. he has a lot of potential. You know, I saw a lot of Bulls fans also call him like the French Jimmy Butler. You know, he played limited minutes last season, but in those few minutes, I, I'm pretty sure he had a big game against the Pelicans. He came off the bench. Pretty sure at like 11, 5, and 5 in like two minutes or something off the bench. You know, sure, that's garbage time, but he definitely has a lot of potential. I definitely am excited to watch him in the Bulls preseason games and possibly give him a chance during the season because I'm sure the Bulls are going to suffer some injuries. We always do, and I hate to admit it. And here's some more big news. You know, the Chicago Bulls 2020 second round pick, Marco Sinanovic, 
He was playing overseas today and he had a great game. You know, he finished the game with 15 points and 12 rebounds. You know, he has been balling out overseas. I'm really happy with this pick still. You know, I've been seeing a lot of videos and play people comparing him to the next Joker. You know, I'd say that's a pretty big comparison. I don't believe he'll be that good. But I'm definitely high on the kid. You know, if you guys didn't watch any of my past past videos, you know, this kid is more of like a draft and stash type player. You know, I'm pretty sure he's still under contract overseas or whatever. And the Bulls roster is full unless if we cut someone as of right now. So it's looking like he's going to stay overseas for one to two seasons and then hopefully come like come over to the Chicago Bulls next year. Kind of what the Bulls did with Nikola Miritich. You know, Nikola Miritich had some great years with the Bulls. I'm really ha I was really happy with that pick. I'm really excited for Marco to come overseas in a year or two. You know, he's going to continue to play overseas. I'll keep you guys updated with that if you guys want. Definitely leave any comments or questions about that below today's video. You know, I'm really happy with everything Artoris has done this offseason. Training camp is coming up quick. I'm pretty sure it's December 1st. So, the, so like by the time this video goes live, that's a week away. You know, when all the Bulls get in training camp, I'm sure they're all going to get tested and such. I'll make a video on that, keeping you guys updated through training camp. You know, make a video on any highlights that I can find and such as well. I hope you guys enjoyed today's quick little update video. Like I said, check out my all my past videos if you missed it. Also, join my Bulls group chat. You know, we're making polls, asking each other questions, and just talking and debating every day about the Bulls in this upcoming season. Definitely join that. It's a fun time over there. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed today's quick little news and update video. You know, to end this video, I'm just going to throw up this quick little workout I found of Patrick Williams working out pre-draft and such. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Have a good one.